Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to show you something I do when I'm trying to define, to create a layout, to style it and when things just don't seem to be working or when rules and alignments seem to be off and I was working on a different video, on a video about Moodle screens and I was struggling with the CSS, sometimes I, I mix things up and so I thought that I would take this opportunity and this context, which is pretty real because it was happening to show you how I usually go about doing this. So right now I have a, I have an application that just has a bunch of placeholders uh, laid out in a grid. And the point is that when I press M, a modal screen is supposed to pop up. And this modal screen, this yes or no question with the two buttons, this should be centered and it should look good. The modal screens can have transparent backgrounds, so I want to make use of that. And so I need to set things up correctly. And so what I did, and now let me just show you the the structure of the screen, because I we need to know the the structure of our DOM, of our um, hierarchy of widgets to be able to write the proper CSS style. So we have a yes or no screen. And everything in that screen is inside the container and there's a label and then the two buttons are inside a horizontal container. So this is the structure we're dealing with. And what I did was I went and I targeted the screen and then I said align center middle. And this doesn't seem to be doing anything. So something must be wrong, right? If I told the screen to center everything why is it not centering anything? And so what I usually do is I start adding random backgrounds to things, right? So this was very bright. And right now the background of yes or no is set to red. If the background is red, why is, why isn't this, why aren't these two things, sorry, why aren't these two things centered in this screen? And so then what we can do is we can go down one level. So inside the yes or no, there's a container. Now what I can do is I can set the backgrounds of that container. And as I set it to blue, we can see that the issue is that the container is too big. So the container is not tight around these widgets. And that's why the screen thinks everything is aligned because the container, which is taking up all of the space is taking up all of the space. And so by definition, it's centered. So if I say that the container should have a height of auto and a width of auto, then nothing happens. Right, okay, sorry, I, I, I was waiting for something, but nothing happens, and why is that? Now, we can go deep, one level deeper. Inside this container, there's a horizontal. And so if I set its background to background to brown, we can see that the horizontal is also thinking, taking up a lot of space. And so this horizontal should also have a height of auto. And now suddenly when I set the height of the horizontal to auto, notice how most of the things fall back to fall back to place. Now we can see that there's too much brown here, so that's probably because the width is also too big the width of the horizontal container, so we can set it to auto as well. And now things are looking much better, right? Now we can see that these things seem to be centered already. Now the only thing missing is the, the label itself. And when you have to center text in labels, this, to me at least, this ends up always being quite fun. Because I, th I would think that at this time, thing the, the label, the text in the label should be centered. I mean, why is it not centered? Well, maybe it's because the label is inside the container. So one thing I could try is I can say align center middle in the label itself. But this also doesn't do anything. So in order to show you better what's happening, I'll go into the container and I'll style the label I'll change the background of the label, background, I'll change it to pink. And also let me get rid of the red and the brown. Yes. So getting, getting rid of some of the other background colors, we can see that there's already the transparency I wanted to make use of. It's already 
in place because I'm using a modal screen. I'll show it how I'll show you how to use a modal screen in another video. This is just so you see how you can use background colors to help you figure out layouts of things. Now the label has a pink background and I asked the container to align everything in the center and in the middle. So why does it look like it's not doing that for the label? The thing is what textual does is it takes for the container case what it does is it takes up it takes the children of this container which in this case are the the label and the horizontal and it considers them as a block all right so it's not going to align each individual child so it, it doesn't look at the label realizes it has a shorter width and then places it in the middle it aligns the block of children and the block of children is aligned in the center and the middle so for example if I were to and to see that this is true what I can do is instead of having a height and the width of auto let's say that the height is I don't know 50% so the height of this container should be 50% notice how the background of the container clearly expanded so the container is larger but the children of this container are still centered so it's because what's being centered is the block of children and so for the label itself what i usually do this isn't necessarily this is definitely not the only way to do it and not necessarily the the best one what i do is i set the width of the oh no i don't this can't be 1fr is it 100 percent what do i want to do? yes so i set the width of the label to 100 percent well depending on the case you might want to change the value and then i align the content inside the label so for this particular case this works sorry i can't spell center middle and now the text of the label is centered now another alternative might be to put the label inside another container make the container of the label as wide as the parent and then center the label inside the container there's many ways of handling this sometimes i do this and yeah, that's essentially it. So this was me figuring out how to change widths and heights of things and containers to make sure that widgets are aligned how I want them to. And in this particular case, I was working with a modal screen, but this thing I do, this setting of backgrounds with random colors, this works in pretty much any, any context. So I hope this was useful, helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or join our Discord server to ask the questions. And in a future video, I'll show you how to work with Moodle screens. So I'll see you in that one. Bye.